all right guys we've got uh we've got the first post in the ground over here we're going to use this guy right here as our uh starter to go ahead and run down this length over here which is eventually is going to tie in over here we're going to have a loading area back there that's going to have to be built yet uh but we want to at least get all of our our fencing uh posts in the ground to get rolling so um we're going to roll out this string line here and develop us a nice straight line and uh, get some posts in the ground
right, guys, we got some of these guys here in the ground. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to just show you guys. And again, uh, this is, uh, they're timeless. It's a timeless fence post. And these guys are the, uh, these are the shorter ones. Um, we're going to be putting hogs in them in this pasture here. So we didn't have to have anything real, uh, real tall. These things, uh, they've got a mark on them there. Uh, as far as how much, how far they go in the ground, uh, which is really nice. And then uh, what's actually sticking out is only about 30 inches uh, from the ground up to the top of the post. So I think these guys are going to be perfect for what we need. Uh, we've got them spaced. We've got these guys spaced about 20 feet apart, and uh, I think that's going to be just enough, you know, to keep everything flowing. Pigs respect electric fence very well, so once they're trained to it, they, they pretty much are going to stay there. Um, so we've left this corner. I left off here, and you guys can see over in that other corner there. Uh, this is where we're right now. I'm just leaving this. Uh, I've got to design a little something. I've got something in my head, but I need to put it down on paper here um, and just kind of go through the designs and, and see what I want to do. Uh, we might even actually look at purchasing a tub and alley loading uh, chute that you would typically see for cattle uh, for these pigs. I don't know just yet. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. Loading is the most important thing that you really need to build for, um, you know, aside from, from having a fence, at least keep them in an area. But uh, the loading part, uh, an area to where we can catch them. I know we're going to feed out up here. I know we're going to end up using some of the gates that are up there uh, in, the, in the deep bedded barn that we've been using now. Uh, we're going to reutilize them, guys. Um, but I'm not sure just yet as, as to what the design is going to be. I know that uh, we're going to be able to back up here. We've got an 80-foot um, egress here for our chicken houses and stuff, a nice stone lane. Uh, so we've got a lot of space here to go ahead and be able to pull forward and back our trailer in. Um, so we just we got to figure this side of it out. Uh, but let me take you around, and we'll just kind of go... Uh, through and again, that's the big pasture we're going to be utilizing and we're actually going to split that in half um, I will show you guys here on a later video that we have a uh, We've got a, a water system that's going to be going up there um, And we're already actually trenched in for it. Uh, you know other videos if you guys have been following I've, I've showed you that too um, so either way uh, that we're going to split this pasture in half and have some type of, of, of gate uh, to be able to go from one area, one pasture to the next. So we're going to be trying that out at some point here.
right, so our next step is to take this uh, take this fuel filter off, which is uh, kind of a pain in the butt too. Um, has a has a different style uh, piece to actually unscrew it, and uh, and then the bottom piece is going to come off this as well. Hey, why don't we bring go ahead and bring that one thing back in? I can set it underneath the uh, the black tub, the oil tub. I'll set it underneath so we can drain the gas out of diesel fuel in it. Uh, the big black oil. Uh, we put that in the pair. It's not here. Uh, that bucket. Yeah. Back here. You can bring that. Just bring that bucket. That's fine. I think I can get it with this. Why not? Yeah. We'll just. It'll be enough room. Oh, David, do you have more? This is this is perfect, honestly. Good. This works, yeah. Yep. This works perfect. Uh, just gotta try to get this piece. Still got to remove this bottom piece, and I'm going to do this out here. Let that drain. All right, guys. So this here. Uh, let me just show you guys. I don't really know how some of these mechanics do this with one person because this is pretty hard. Um, you've got to push, you got to push this filter up into place and then get this ring to spin on, uh, which it's like a catch ring. It's a different type of thread. It's not like a regular thread. Um, but once it's once it's up and you've got to put pressure to keep it up, you can get that thing tight. So it is a uh, it's hard for one person and it's the same way here for this one as well so we're going to go ahead we're going to loosen up this uh plug here i guess not by hand we're going to loosen up this guy now this is going to go ahead and let our fuel start filling up into our reservoir down here So this is going to take a few minutes. I'm just going to set this up here. This is going to take a few minutes. It'll fill this whole reservoir here, and then she'll be ready to go. All right, so my this this whole setup here is different than what my other one is over there. Um, our fuel lines run a lot further um, from the end of this building here uh, into here, and we've broke the pressure from it. Uh, We've broke the pressure from it, so we're going to end up having to uh, we're going to end up having to take this back off, uh, fill the actual filter with fuel, and then uh, and then put everything back up, and then hopefully the the engine will just suck it up, and it'll start it'll continue to keep uh, keep flowing. So um, the one we did over there the other day, it's why I tried this like this. I was able to crack the bleeder valve, and it just came in, but it was a lot shorter run. Um, I think there's only 10 foot of hose over there that goes from the actual fuel tank right inside uh, So it was it's a lot different where this one here is ran with copper lines um, And it runs about 25 30 feet or so um, Prior to getting to here. So I think we have uh, we've kind of burnt the seal on this and uh, Lost our suction and it's just too far. So we're gonna go ahead and take this day back off 
Um, drop it down, fill it up, and then have fun putting that back up again. So if you guys are changing these, if you've messed with this type of stuff before, they are a pain in the butt. Um, anybody out there that has uh, the same type of setup like this, um, you do have to put that pressure and get that filter up. Um, so it's it's really hard for, for one person to really do that job. And, uh, I, you know, I guess either that or there's tricks to the trade that I just don't know, which is completely possible. So um, I'm going to let you guys go on this one. We're going to finish this up and go ahead and start her up and run her. Um, probably going to have to do some priming and all that good stuff, uh, but uh, we're going to get that done. And as I promised, we've got more animals to move here throughout this video. Uh, we're going to be moving cattle tomorrow. It'll be Friday. We actually have two um, heifers that we're going to uh, AI tomorrow. Well, not AI them tomorrow, but we're going to start getting them right. We're going to put the cedars in and get the shots going um, and all that stuff for, for some fair projects that we're putting together. Uh, the rest of all of the... Uh, the feeders that we had out here, uh, we're going to run them through the shoot system as well. We're going to go ahead and give them uh, an ivermectin wormer, and then we are going to push those guys out onto our upper pasture uh, where they're going to go ahead and start uh, getting access there to the triticale that we planted uh, last fall. That stuff is, uh, I'm going to get some shots of it. That stuff's about a foot and a half tall right now, and uh, we need to get them out there because it's too wet to actually harvest it for hay. Um, I think we have a little bit more rain in the forecast, so I don't think we're going to get to it for hay. So we're going to put these guys out here, um, get them to start eating it down, and then the uh, game plan is to reseed um, after we've got it all down. So stick around with me here, guys. Um, it'll be another day. Uh, tomorrow we're going to start all that stuff and, and get all the cattle moved. 